afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm the Director of Research and Development at Intelligent Concrete, where we make concrete do the impossible. We're going to be going into a series of videos on the hydration of the glue that holds concrete together. That cementitious matrix is, is dependent on a set of hydraulic reactions where we add water to cementitious materials and it kicks off going from a paste to a rock-like structure. Now, those hydro reactions can be manipulated with certain chemicals. So that's what we're going to be doing in these series of videos is using different chemicals like sugar. So we're, that was Sammy Boy. So Sammy and I are going to be using different amount of sugar or a different amount of sugars in each of the, the mixes that we're going to be doing compared to a reference and see how it affects the uh, temperature of hydration over 24 hours and the strength at 24 hours, 7 and 28 days. So, hope you enjoy. Um, what's our uh, question that we're going to ask, ask, Sammy boy? How, How will, will sugar impact the chemical? Chemical. Reactions, yeah. Reactions of cement hydration over time. Wow, that was really good, Sammy boy. That was really, really Okay, and our hypothesis is as we add more sugar, what's going to happen, Sammy boy? The slower uh, it gets. That's right. So the more sugar we add, the more we're going to see this dormancy in cementitious hydration. We're going to show that through our temperature over time charts. And then also it's going to manifest in compressive strength over time. So with more sugar, we're going to see a reduction in temperature over time. And we should see a reduction in our early strengths. Cool? Cool. All right. So let's get to work. Hope you enjoy. Let us know if you got any questions. Yes. Ready, Sam? All right. So we got the reference mix going. That's what you saw. Uh, we're going to get this into the uh, semi adiabatic temperature device. We'll show you what that looks like. That's going to be our first experiment. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we'll get started with those sugar mixes. Awesome. So this is our semi adiabatic temperature device where we store our samples and do temperature over time. Uh, each chamber is insulated so it doesn't affect the other. So yeah, get back to those mixes. We'll put these in here. We'll sit for 24 hours.
So thanks for joining us today. Uh, we had a great set of mixes. We ran four one reference, three sugar mixes, and what we found is as we added more sugar, we saw the slump increase, so the mix became more fluid. Now we didn't see any initial change in temperature, we didn't see any initial change in unit weight, so it really wasn't more than the slump changing, but for the slump to go from, I think it was four and a half centimeters, up to 13.2 is a drastic change. And again, we weren't adding more water, we were just adding sugar. And what we think the sugar is gonna do is slow down that reaction. So it makes sense, but we got a lot more data to look at and stay tuned because that's gonna be part of the next video. So hope you learned something. Let us know if you got any concrete questions, concrete concerns. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go concrete, beat asphalt.